Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back working on some traveler's notebooks today. Um, I pulled out the ones that were in my kits that I had made last year that um, did not sell the last time. So I pulled those out because I'm not going to sell them inside the containers this year. Um, so I pulled them out and I've added some um, seam binding trim on the edge. And these are the ones over here. These right here are all the ones that I just created. And I'm going to create one on camera as well. So anyway, they're all pretty much basic is what they're going to, they're going to be. Um, let me just show you this one. Let me move these out of the way. Well, let me, actually, let me show you all of them, okay? I'm going to pull them out. And I will just kind of show you. I'm not going to open up each one. But here is one that I had created, and I just love, love, love this paper. This paper is so, so cute. It's got a little cut apart on the front. I'm not going to do pen loops. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really enjoy making them that much, but I wanted to include a pen, so I'm just going to attach them on the front along with a big paper clip. I have put some seam binding on the edge just to give it a little extra decoration. So there's that one. Here's this one. I just absolutely love this paper. It's just absolutely beautiful. I've had this paper for quite a long while. Let me get the paper clip back on. Um, but anyway, it did come from Joann's probably last year or the year before. I've had it for quite a long while, but I thought it was just beautiful. I added a little seam binding on there. And then here is one that I had created, and this one's a Happy Holidays one. And it's, of course, got a pen. This one has red elastic. It's got a little paper clip that goes that will go on the front. I added some seam binding on it. And here's a real fun one right here. This one has, um, this one's like under the sea type theme. And um, I thought it was just super, super cute. Add a little seam binding again on that one as well. Let me get this paper clip back on here. And um, got a pin there. So there we go. Okay, let me see if I can get this back on here the way it is. Okay, so here it is right here. I might put these down in some big clear bags just so everything will stay together. And I'll probably leave one out for viewing. That way they can look at it. But anyway, here is this one. And it was made out of this. I think it's like a fab fashionista paper. Um, but anyway, this one is super cute. I added the little seam binding on there. Um, this one, actually, here we go. On this one right here, I really was so proud of myself. I busted through a whole paper collection that I have, um, I've already discarded. I think I had like one piece left out of the whole thing, but um, I can just show you. I added some little seam binding over here and it's got the pink elastic and I added some clear pockets in the front. It's got three sections with paper. Um, it has a laminated pocket folder with um, cut aparts inside. And here is the other two sections with a cut apart in the back. So just basic, simple, just simple, sweet little, little traveler's notebooks. Here is, let me get this one back on. And then I got the pin. Just like this, okay? Here's another one that I have created. They're all pretty basic inside. So here is the outside of this one. And I had created these, these um, paper clips before and I thought, you know what, I need to use them. So I am. Here's one I did with the rainbows. Bought that one. And here is, I did a couple of Christmas ones. Here is one that I did out of this this super cute um i think this is I'm trying to think of the name of the collection i'll think of it i'll think of it in a second probably but anyway it turned out super super cute let me show you the inside how i did the folders all the same kind of thing i added a santa 
Oh, it's not a creature with stirring. That's the name of it. Um, I think it's by Photoplay. So here is this one. Got your papers. Got your pocket folder. I laminated this so it could be written on multiple times. And then here's the back one. And then it has another pocket back here in the back. So super, super cute. I added a ribbon, a ribbon on this one. I might change it and put the same binding like I did on the others. But I think it's just super cute. And then I have this one. And this was out of that um, collection that I got yesterday um, at Joanne Fabrics. I don't know what in the name of it. Um, anyway, I'll think of it in a second. I'll let you know. Uh, but anyway, I got it at Joanne Fabrics. I thought it was super, super cute. And here's this one. And I put on the front uh, cut apart the season greetings. And then lastly, this is one I made last year. I absolutely love, 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 love the paper. I think it might be a doodle bug, if I'm not mistaken. But it is so, so cute. Let me see this one. Even love the rosette. Just darling. And as you see here, got your pocket. I got your, your notebooks here. Got your pocket folders or your notebooks here. And it comes with one laminated pocket. This one, look, I had put in some different goodies in here. So anyway, super, super cute. I'm excited about these. Um, I took them out. I'm not going to deal with the little plastic things that I did for kids this year. I don't, I just, I, I want it, to, I want to sell them, but I don't want it to look the same. So anyway, so there is these. Let me get all these back in. I'll show you quickly a refresher on how I made these. So, okay, so let me get this, get this moved out of the way. Right, so I decided for this uh, traveler's notebook, I was going to use this uh, school days. I thought it'd be so cute. You never know, a mom might want to buy it for their child, you know, that way they can use it for school or a teacher might even want this. And I just think that the paper is just absolutely darling. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cut into this one, y'all. I'm not gonna be saving all my paper. I need to use it. So that's the reason I buy it. Um, yeah, it's so hard sometimes to cut into it, but you just gotta do it. Okay. So I'm gonna. You're gonna need for a traveler's notebook. If you, there are probably many people out there that have never made one before, and so this is for you. Um, if you have made them before, maybe you need a refresher, this is for you too. Or if you just want to watch, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, let's put these aside. I'm going to get my laminator back on here. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, I had it already on and I went to turn it off. I went to turn it back on and I was like, uh-oh, what happened? Okay, I've already gone ahead and cut my papers, okay? So what you're going to need is you're going to need three for to cover your paper. And you're going to need one piece that's going to be for your, for your pocket folder and one for your cover. So, and then cut apart stickers, whatever you want to use. Aren't the stickers just absolutely darling? So, so cute. Okay. So for our cover, I'm going to utilize this cute paper right here. It's got paint brushes on the back, and I just thought it was super cute. I'm going to also use it as a pocket folder as well. Um, this measures seven and a quarter by eleven and a quarter, and you're going to score it at five and one eighth, five and five eighths, and six and one eighths, and that's it. Only fold on the back on the the two end score lines not the middle one okay so just fold so it looks like this i like to do that score line in the center right there you can kind of see it um that way then it kind of gives you a guide of where to put your center hole okay so there is for this and i'm going to go ahead i'm going to get my corner rounder here I'm gonna use my half inch end of my of my corner rounder here, and I'm going to round my corners on the first traveler's notebooks that I made 
Last year, I did not round the corners. I left them square. Sometimes my thing doesn't like to get around enough, so I gotta fix it. But anyway, all the ones I've made um, yesterday and today are all rounded. So there we go. That's gonna be for our cover, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my laminator and I'm using the Scotch laminator right here. I got this at Walmart several years ago and it is a workhorse. It's still trucking. So you're gonna use, um, I'm using Scotch thermal laminating sheets and I'm going to put my my paper down inside the laminating sheet get it as close to this edge as you can and it will be exactly the length you need it see what's left that's what you that's what you ha will have left and so that's why you need to get it down as good as you can i'm gonna put it in my laminator to get that going Okay, so, and then you have three more pieces that you're going to use for covers for your paper. And so I've already got those cut as well. And then you've got a piece for your pocket folder. Okay, so once I get this out, we'll go ahead and um, get going on these others. The cover is gonna be so cute because once it's laminated, it makes it so vibrant and beautiful. It's just so pretty. Super cute. And I love the fact it's got that ruler on the bottom. That's darling. So see, here it is, it's all laminated. We'll cut that in just a sec. But let's go ahead and we're gonna take our, these are gonna be the covers for our paper. And these, I cut them at 10, like 10 and, maybe 10 and 5 eighths, it's one line past the half, okay? And so all you're gonna do is decide which one you want on the outside, and I think since I have this one on the cover, I'm gonna put the paintbrushes on the outside. So just fold it in half, and just press down. You can score if you want, but this is easy just to fold, and I thought this one is super cute, so I'm gonna make sure to put that one on the outside. Just want to make sure that I got that even. And fold the other one, and here we go. Get this folded. Okay, so I'm going to use my corner rounder and round the corners. You can literally make a traveler's notebook fast, like 30 minutes if you really tried, because they're that simple. Now, if you go to all the embellishing part, I don't know about you, but that's what takes me the time, is embellishing. I think I like to build it more than I like to embellish it. Okay, let me make sure I get all my things here. I didn't do too well on this one, so let me get this one fixed. That looks okay. Okay, so there's those. And now I'm gonna go ahead and this one's gonna be for our, before our pocket folder. Isn't the school bus, bus is just darling? Okay, so grab your scoreboard again. This one is measuring 11 inches by 10. On the 11 inch side, you're gonna score at a half. You're gonna score at five and a half. And you're gonna score at 10 and a half. Turn it and scored at seven, and that's it. And this is to make our pocket folder. See, isn't that cute? Cute, oh, just darling. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our folds going. Our folds, I'm gonna fold back and forth, kinda get it going here. On these side ones, I'm just gonna work it, kind of work the paper on each side. 
and so it's a gloomy day outside here in North Texas, but you know it's still a great day. Okay, so for this, here's down, here's our, our our score line where we scored at seven inches. You've got this little piece right over here. So I'm gonna go in at an angle and I'm gonna cut up to that score line right there, okay? And then come on this side, kind of rotate it and just cut down and just cut that off like at an angle. Cut at the top as well, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just go in like maybe quarter of an inch. Doesn't have to be a bunch. It helps you to be able to fold it better. At least that's my opinion. And then I think I have enough paper to make one more of these. I might make another one because I think they're super cute. Super cute. Okay. So now for the, you got your center fold here. And you need to cut off here in the center here. So what I do is I line up that score line right there along with the edge of where I cut. And I go over about an inch, inch and a quarter. And I just cut that off. So you're cutting off this. And you open it up. This is what you have. So now these are going to come up and isn't that darling with the polka dots oh my goodness okay so now i'm just going to take you use glue i'm just using a little tape runner because i'm going to laminate this and i'll just put a little tape on it fold it down Just like that, isn't that cute? And there we go, we got ourselves a pocket folder. So on these, I've been rounding the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and round my corners after I got it all fixed up. Just like that. Now we're gonna get this one in a laminating sheet. I might have enough laminating sheets to make one more of these. I think I could whip it out pretty fast. Let me get this in here because we want to, you know, the pocket folder is going to have a lot of wear and tear. And so you want it to be sturdy. So I'm going to roll it through my laminator. Make sure you get it down toward the bottom the best that you can. And let's roll that on through. So it's looking good. See, we're getting things together here. And we're only at nine minutes, y'all. So easy. It just makes it so much more easy to deal with and everything, I think. You know, I mean, it's going to be have the wear and tear. And, you know, it's not like a heavier cardstock. This is a cardstock. This is a, you know, a good cardstock, but it's not... Um, I mean, it's not as thick as like maybe your normal pocket folder. Maybe it's not, it's a little bit thinner. Okay, it's coming out. Okay, get that out of the way and there we go. We got our pocket folder all laminated. Now let's let that, let that cool down just a second. And for this, this is our cover. So now we're just gonna take this We're gonna trim off the excess and see this right here on my on my trimmer that where that white line is right there that's where I line the edge of my paper at so I've made it a point to always use that as a guide and that leaves me about an eighth of an inch so as you see here it left me about an eighth of an inch the ends just fit perfectly you won't need to cut those so let's move this out of the way and because I rounded my corners, it's really hard for my corner rounder to, to chop off, uh, 
to chop off this laminating. It just, I just fight with it. So I just take mine and I just kind of cut my corners at an angle and leave it at that. You can try to cut them around if you want, but I just do this. Okay, I got that one. We'll be getting that one, getting that one going in a second. Let's go ahead and get this one trimmed. Lining it up again, just like I did the other one. And I gotta line up the edge of this one because this one was a little shorter. So we got a little excess, so I'll make sure. Okay, so there we go, that's those. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this cut because I we now that we've got it laminated, we've got to cut these so you'd be able to put things in your pocket folder. So what I do is I'm just gonna take my ruler, I'm taking an exacto knife. I <laughs> love this pocket folder. That's so cute. Okay, and then you're gonna just kind of put your ruler right up at the edge. And as you see, it don't cut it too deep. You want to be careful because you don't want to cut through the other side. We just kind of line it up next to your the edge of where your pocket folder is. So let's get down here. Line it up where you can where it's lined up almost right next to that where the yellow is. And just go to the end, just like that. And when you get to the end, if you need to take your X-Acto knife, kind of pull it up under the edge there, just do it carefully. And we still gotta do this one side. See how that one is looking, and I think that looks pretty good. So now I've got my pockets, my pockets opened. Let's get this. I like to put my pocket folder back through the laminator, so I'm gonna roll it back through one more time with the pockets facing up. Okay, almost out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna need on the laminator. So now we're just gonna take this and where you have scored it. Gently fold it, use your bone folder, press it down, just like that. Now you got yourself a cute pocket folder. Oh, so cute. And so now we got our folder. Let's put that aside. Let's go ahead and start getting our cover together. Now we've got that done. So for our cover, remember we've got the three score lines. You're gonna gently fold on the two outer score lines. How cute is that? Oh my, super cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold it gently. Just kind of use my bone folder. Get it pressed down. I've noticed that some people do like their traveler's notebooks where the they kind of they kind of bend the the center one where it makes it kind of rounded. I like mine kind of square. So let's get this back out. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're gonna do is you need to take, um, you're gonna use your hole puncher. You gotta punch your holes. So let me grab my, I'm gonna use my, my, my big mouth here, my big crocodile. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need three holes on each end and one toward the center. So I'm gonna use my eighth of an inch hole punch on here. Line it up. I'm going to gently start lining it up right where that center score line is. And when you think you're about in the center, press your, poke your hole. Okay. Now for my other holes, I'm going to use my EK Successes hole punch. I got this on Amazon. 
And I always kind of start with my center hole. If you see here, I drew a little marker line on the end of there. It kind of lines up my hole. That way it's closer to where I see my little score line in there. Pinch my hole. You just get it as straight as you can. And the nice thing about this one is, is when you go up in here and you line it up, you put it all the way up in there and it's a guide. Then all your holes will be even. Let's do the other end. Starting with the center. And go over and I'm just punching right up inside that score line. Like that. Okay. Okay, so now we got our holes punched. That's all we're gonna need for the hole puncher. Unless you wanna make a tag or something. So there we go. So now I'm gonna use my, this is a two millimeter elastic. I got it on Amazon, as you see. I've had it a long time. It's been well used. So I'm just gonna pull myself off of some. And I'm gonna start with my center hole. Go in, go into the center hole, and then you're gonna go back, on the other side, you're gonna go back through the other hole to the left. And then you're gonna string it down to this bottom hole. And then you're gonna go up through the center hole. And then you're gonna string it back up and go back through the hole that you had before. Now, if you wanna put some, uh, if you wanna um, put yourself some of those little, I don't know, what are they things called? Like the little eyelet looking things. If you wanna put some of those, um, go for it. I probably just called it wrong. Sorry about that, y'all. So now I've went through that hole, went back out and to that hole, going back down to the last hole at the bottom. And now you're gonna take it, you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it through the hole that's right next to it. See? And then you're gonna bring it and up, and there it went. And you don't want it to be where it's too tight, but you want to make sure it's going to be tight enough. And then, now I'm just going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut that off. And then you're just going to bring this down. You're going to tie it. Tie a knot. Make sure you don't make it where your, your cover is starting to bow on you. Because then if you're doing that, that means you've got it too tight. I tied it in a double knot. Now I'm just gonna trim it off just like that. Okay, so there we go. So now I like to put my pocket folder second. You can put these in any order that you choose. So it's gonna go like right there. But first we need to put the other elastic. So we need an elastic that's gonna go around the outside as well just to hold it in place. So just kind of take your elastic this one is so vibrant and just beautiful. And just kind of measure it around how much you think you're gonna need. And what I do is just kind of find my center and press them together. And you're just gonna go from the inside, push it out through the hole. Kind of measure it. I have Soul Traveler's Notebooks three years in a row. And they sell really good. So there, it's going to look like that. So I'm just going to kind of hold it over here with my finger. That way the inside doesn't move. I know I've got it at a good distance. And I'm just going to tie a double knot. And there we go. Yes, Traveler's Notebooks, they sell. They do. I made an overabundance of them last year and I just had a couple left and I felt like that was a good win. Okay, so now I've got, got all my elastics. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my pocket folder. It's going to go second. Just going to move it around. There, it's looking good. Okay, so now let's worry about our three other little fo our folders, our covers for our paper. So let me grab the paper and let me show you the ones I'm using. I'm using these. These came from Walmart. They're pen and gear. And these um, have 80 sheets in them, and they're five by sevens. So, um, I want to remove the cover because I want the covers to match. So, what you need to do is find the center. And keep going over here. Find your center. As you see here, you see where all the where the stitching is. Kind of flip it over. And I'm just going to kind of pull it up like this, and I'm just going to snip the, the string. And just going to take off the cover. I bought these last year, a whole, whole bunch of them last year at Walmart. I've had them in my stash. I bought them right along with the three pack composition notebooks too and I've got I don't know about 10 packs of those so I can make some smaller travelers notebooks as well and there that's as easy as that to get that off now just get all your strings off you don't want to leave the strings and you want to make sure that there's no strings left on the front Y'all, we went to visit, or we went to see my granddaughter perform last night. She's in the band, and she does, like I said yesterday in my video, she does color guard. O-M-G. She is absolutely just gorgeous doing it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you can kind of split these up if you want, because these are 80 sheets in here. Or you can just leave it, and I've got plenty, so I think I'm just going to leave it. And I've cut these, I've cut these a little bit too long, and I did that on purpose. Um, that way then when I put my paper in, I can kind of measure and see where I'm at on it. And I can just kind of trim it down. So I'm going to try to get this, I'm just going to try to figure out where I want to cut it down to. I could have waited to, to, um, to around the corners, but that's all good. So I'm going to leave, I don't know. Maybe um, I'm going to just take off about a quarter inch. And I'm going to do that on all three of them. Let's just do it on all three. Let me see these. Make sure. Okay, so this one I did okay. I'm going to leave that one. This one I think I miscut. So let me... Let me figure this one out. Okay, let's do this one before I go trim off. Let's do these first. I just want to make sure. So I'm going to get this one off as well. And you can kind of start by like just pulling it. And these just come right off. the top and you can start pulling those out too they just come right out now if you didn't want to do this you could always just cover this part of the notebooks and leave the inner part black you could do that as well it's up to you okay i'm going to find my center let's make sure i get all the all the strings pulled out of this I've got some here. And let me see if I can use my scissors. Get my scissors. I was using my, my little poker, but I'd have to go dig that out. So let me just see if I can pull these out. I 
sometimes if you lift the paper up, it helps to go ahead and release it. Yeah, see? It's just this little stubborn ones right here in the center there. And there we go. So now I'm just gonna put them back together. And let me check this one before I go try to cut anything. And actually, I think I cut these good. I think I just cut this one too big. So I'm gonna trim this one down just a tad. And I wanna make sure before I go, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. I'm going to flip it over because that's where I made a mark. And I'm just going to trim that off. It's too big. So I'm to make sure. Not too bad. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my rounder here and I'm just going to round these up match the others and I'm gonna make sure I'm doing half inch let me just flip that over and get my things rounded really good okay so now let's see how that's gonna look I think that's pretty good it's just a little bit so I think we need that so I need to get one more and then we'll get these in our book okay, so I got my last paper got all the strings out and there we go. Now I got my little covers. And I just want to make sure everything is looking good here. I just want to make sure everything is even. Seems like I need to trim a little bit. I really just did not trim this one good. So let's fix this one again. I think I need to go about a quarter of an inch. And just trim it. It needs to be a little, it needs to be even. Okay. Now let's see what this one's looking like. And that is much better. See how that fits right up in there. Okay, now let's get these in. Let's just decide which one we want on the front. And I think I'll do these cute little girls on the front. I'm string them through here. And they're not attached, so that way then they can reuse the covers when their paper runs out. If they want to get different paper, whatever, they can change it. And I think I'll put this one in the center since the cover has paint brushes on it. And we don't have the same ones next to each other. And my paper's in there. And that's nice and chunky. Look at that, y'all. Nice and chunky. My folders, sometimes they kind of hang out just a little bit. But I leave them because... I would rather them be a little bit long than not long enough. That's looking pretty good. So now I've got my papers in there. See how much paper and how it's nice and chunky. Okay, so for, you know, I like to put some cut aparts in the pocket folders and stuff. So we're going to do that. Oh, well, we've got one that's bus stop. This one is super cute. Listen to your teacher. Tell the truth. Ask questions. Super cute. Okay, we're going to do that. Now let me grab some clear pockets. And I am using these out of my stash. These come from Target in the dollar spot. So you're just going to need two of them. I like to go in the middle because they're more smooth. The ones on the outside get a little wrinkly. I don't like that. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's because I've had it in my stash a while. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to put one in the front. I'm just going to put it down here toward the bottom. And then let's add in a couple cut aparts here in this one. 
maybe we'll do this too. Actually, let's put this one over here. It's like for journaling, isn't that cute? And then we're gonna put one pocket folder in, or one pocket in the back. And I'm gonna put a couple of these here. Reading is fun. There we go. So now I've got I've got some embellishments inside for them to use. And I, I want to put some um, seam binding just hanging off the edge there. And also, too, like on some of these little pocket folders, if you want, or on these little folders, if you want, you can use some of your stickers. That'd be cute. Um... I, I like this one. It's a great day to learn something new. That one's super, super cute. I'm thinking we could put this down here in the corner. Look at that. You could have made that into a tag, but layer it up. Whatever. And here's one that says, you are an awesome, you're an awesome kid. So I think that is super cute. Just gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna go back to the back one. And I have to use this sweet little girl here. She's cute. Put her down here in the corner too. Just like that. Okay, so I've got some of that. That's looking pretty good. Now let's just do our little seam binding and we'll get our pin and we'll be done. Okay, so let me grab my seam binding. I'm gonna try to see what color I can use. Maybe we'll go with blue. What color is this? Maybe this light blue, or I think this blue would be better. I'm just gonna use just a piece. I love the seam binding that I got, and it's from My Scrap Cabin um, on Etsy. That's where I got it. I'm just gonna cut myself a piece, I don't know, a foot long. And then what I do is I take it and I, I'm just going to put it up underneath where the elastic is. So I'm going to bring it up, use my scissors to kind of guide it up in there. You can use like some jump rings or something if you want to make it like that. But this works good for just this easy way. This might not be the right way that this is my way. Now, if y'all want to see some really good traveler's notebooks, head on over to Christy at Anchor Life 5. She is, in my opinion, one of the best at making these. Okay, I'm just kind of now that I've got that, see, I'm just tying myself a little knot. And I'm leaving it just to hang it down. Isn't that pretty? Just leave it late hanging down. So now let's make a quick pin, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm using these RSVP pins by Pentel. I buy them at Walmart. They're like $2.89 a pack. They're not expensive. And the nice thing about these pins, and I've done this before on my channel, um, the nice thing about these is, is this end right here, it unscrews and it comes out and you can put paper up inside. So, let me see if I can find a scrap. And what you need to do is you need to take and you're going to measure it kind of to where that plot, that clear part ends to where it screws. And I'm just going to cut myself a piece. And you're going to need about three quarters of an inch. Let me make that a little straighter. You're going to need about three quarters of an inch for this. Um, so I'm going to cut a little bit off. And just take it, you can use your bone fold if you want, but just take it and just start kind of kind of trying to roll it, okay? You got to just kind of start shaping it. Just 
just like this. And once you got it kind of curled up in there like that, you're gonna stick it down inside. As I got in there, I'm just gonna push it. And I just use my scissors and kind of just push it a little bit more, just so it's all covered there. You see what it looks like? Then you're gonna take your pin top and you're gonna put it back on and there you go. Now it matches your traveler's notebook. And um, I like to include a big paper clip. So I had one here, where we go, here it is. And I have a white one I think I'll just include. Already got it made. And there you go. That's how it's gonna be. Super cute, right y'all? And look how chunky it is. Plenty of room for writing, note taking, addresses, whatever you wanna put in there. Um, if you wanna add some other things in it, you can do that as well. But this is super, super cute. So anyway, so we are at about, I don't know, 45, 46 minutes. So start to finish, that's not too bad. Having to recut my paper from my pocket folder and so forth. But anyway, it's super cute. I love just hanging these off. Um, you can put you can put some charms on here. You can dangle it, you can do whatever. But I thought, you know what, I've got it. And I think it's just super cute. So. Anyway, that is it. That is um, a video with my traveler's notebooks. I think for price point on these, I probably will do maybe, um, probably I'm thinking between maybe $15. I sold my kits last year for 20 and they sold like hotcakes. And the only thing I'm not putting in the kit is I'm not putting washi tape and it's just not in the plastic thing. So I'm thinking 15. Let me know what you think between 12 and 15. Maybe 12 would probably be a good good price because it really doesn't take a whole lot. I paid like 33 cents a piece for these notebooks that I got at Walmart. And like I said, I've had them in my stash for like a year. So I don't know if they still have them, but those are just five by sevens. Um, the pens are super cheap, so it really doesn't take much. Couple sheets of paper, that's it, y'all. It's that easy. And you know, the elastic, you buy the whole elastic for less than $10 a roll, and that thing has lasted me two years. So that just shows right there how much you can actually, you know, you use that and how long it'll last you. Anyway, this one, I love it. It's super cute. Um, hope you'll give this a try. If you haven't made Traveler's Notebooks before, hopefully this was helpful to you. And um, I hope that you are having a wonderful day, y'all. I'm going to get off of here um, and uh, feel good that now I have the... Um, I'm only going to do, what, about 12 of these Traveler's Notebooks. Um, so I feel good about um, how many I've got done. I will now do a few of the smaller ones because the smaller ones really do sell too. And so you pretty much will make the small ones almost the same way pretty much. Except on these, I just add the paper on the cover because this is a little bit different kind of cover. Um, but I just add the paper on the cover and all that. But I, And then everything is just smaller. So anyway, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And um, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you soon. Bye, y'all.